Hi, I'm trying to show um, a CT of the shoulder and some technical things that I see sometimes that that uh, should be corrected. One is we're trying to evaluate the shoulder joint, which is really the glenohumeral joint, and you can see that this the axis of the joint is not a standard plane. So images that are acquired really should be, uh, I'm sorry, when they're reformatted, should be reformatted relative to the axis of the glenoid surface. So a sagittal would be kind of like this and a coronal would be sort of done like that. Uh, as opposed to look what was done here, these sagittals are just sagittal to the tabletop, and these coronals are just, or these are also sagittals, I guess. These are sagittals also to the tabletop. I guess there are no coronals on this case. But also look at, look at this. This reformatted image, you can tell, has this very stair-steppy kind of appearance all over the place, while this one does not. Um, I think that this one was reformatted off of some thicker sections. When in this case, we do have thin section 0.625 millimeter slice thickness available. There are also some thicker sections that this was probably uh, imaged off of. So two two things to avoid. One is, of course, reformat off of thin section data or raw data. And second is, when reformatting planes in the shoulder, it should be relative to the surface, this glenoid surface of the scapula because this reflects the axis of the glenohumeral joint and should be either parallel to it or perpendicular to it.